Hey guys, so I'm here doing the moon and Taurus check-ins. Just pulling your spiritual energy to see what's going on with you. Anything you don't know about, anything you don't see coming, anything you need to know about, get some advice. You know, the same old, same old. Uh, remember that these readings are general, they're for the collective. This will be for, of course, Capricorn sun and moon placements. If anything here doesn't resonate for you, I just want you to leave it for a Capricorn who does need to hear it. Remember, of course, that there is no gender in Tarot, but all of the energies in this spread will be on you. So even if you're a guy and I pull a queen, I am definitely talking about you, baby. Okay. If you enjoy Tarot love readings or general readings like health and money, I do have a separate channel for that. It's linked in the description below and in the pinned section of the comments, as well as all the ways to contact me for a private personal reading or talk therapy. Can you tell me about Capricorn under this new moon, please? Thank you. We have surrendered to the divine. What are you trying to control, Cap? <laughs> Let's see what this is about. The Ace of Swords. We have Justice. The Hermit. Knight of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Temperance. The Nine of Wands. The Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Bottom of the Deck, Five of Swords. Okay. <laughs> I feel like the truth is getting exposed here with the with the Ace of Swords, Justice and the Hermit. I don't know if the if it's a tr somebody else's truth or if this is your truth being exposed to you, but I feel like for a while you've been struggling, maybe with money. There's a lot of pentacles out here. Waiting for an opportunity to come in. And there is an opportunity coming in. I mean, the Ace of Swords is an opportunity. It'll bring you out of where you're at, which is kind of a little messed up. But I feel like you'll be investing more than you really get back out of it. Or maybe this is the energy that you have been in. Maybe you have been putting all of your time and energy. Let's say this is a job. You put all of your time and energy in it, and it's just self-sabotage. It's like maybe you like the people that you work with or you like what you do, but it's just it's just not paying the fucking bills. You know what I mean? Like we're not or at least not in a manner that you'd like it. It's not a comfortable manner. And you've just been chugging along and, and putting your time and energy into this. And for, it seems like, all of your hours, you're just standing here effed up, you know? So there's this opportunity coming in and, and there, you're being advised to not sabotage it. It's So maybe this is just you expo like not even exposing, but having this like wise conversation with yourself. Like I'm investing a lot of time and energy here. Is it just self-sabotage? Because you're not getting anything back out of it. When, 
maybe it's it's just telling you that you're going to end up, it's going to be like an epiphany that you just stand in your own way in situations. It's like, I've been here long enough. It's not doing anything for me. That's my own fault. Should have been left, you know? But what I feel like is that this energy under the new moon just has you pushing in that direction. Like, out of nowhere, you're like, you know what? I'm going to just get out of here and do what I feel like I'm supposed to do. And... The Four Wands Strength and the Hermit. Or, sorry, the Hierophant. Yeah, there's just this random opportunity coming in. And I feel like at first you're going to think about sabotaging it. Oh, I've been here a long time. Oh, I put in this much time and energy. That's my friend. Oh, I love that person. That's my family. You know, I love my coworkers. And it's like under the moon, you start thinking to yourself logically. Are any of those reasons really the reason to stay? That's not why we go to work, you know. That's not why, you know. I, I feel like you were the, literally just sabotaging yourself by almost like making up excuses to run in place. And the moon energy is like... Instead of you, ha I feel like there's been fear to move forward in case things don't work out how they should or whatever. And it's like something here just, you just decide you got to have faith in it and just do what you got to do. Like, I feel like an opportunity comes in, you're worried about it. And then you're like, you know what? This feels right. And when you take it, baby. I heavily suggest that you do. Stop standing in your own way, Capricorn. It doesn't matter who, who you love at a place or a business or if people are your friends or something. If they're, you know, if... It's okay to have friends, you know, but, like, you can't use that, like, you know, as an excuse to stay stagnant in, like, you know, your career or your life. But I feel like what's coming to you right now is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and that's kind of why you're being forced to really think about why you're thinking about turning it down and you're going to be like, nah, hell no, F that, I'm not, this is for me. So I see you taking a little leap of faith in the next couple of days and I like that for you because you're about to freaking win. All right, I will see you guys soon.